everyone in today's video i'll be talking about five simple daily habits that will improve your productivity and reduce stress my name is parul verma and if you're new here welcome to my channel a happier me before i start the video i wanted to share that these are the habits that are part of my new year's goals and resolutions and i started following them diligently every single day beginning january 2023 and they say it takes about 21 days to develop a habit since it's been a month i thought this would be a perfect time to share it with you all by following these simple habits i am noticing how my day is more productive and i feel less stressed and i look forward to each day with a lot of enthusiasm so my first habit beginning this year is called brain dumping i mostly have my phone available with me all the time so if i have any idea or thought that i find worth saving or referring back to i immediately put it in the notes section of my phone this is really helpful because sometimes i don't even have the time to type so i just use the voice feature and it types for me um especially if i am driving or i'm doing something else with my hands and i want to save my thoughts somewhere this habit is really helpful because our brain is constantly storing and receiving information and it's doing so much so by writing these things down somewhere you're actually clearing that precious mental space which your brain can use to do other things also you will not lose that idea or thought if you want to go back to it because you know where you have saved it i've seen a lot of people use notebooks and uh, some other apps to store this information for me the note section works the best because that's the one that's always accessible to me so yes choose whichever method works the best for you and stick to it this habit is really helping me now when i'm running a youtube channel where i'm making videos on new things and ideas that are coming to my mind and i think are worth sharing with my viewers so by brain dumping i can always go back to wherever i've saved it and create a whole new video out of it so because of this new addition to my life i am now going to be focusing more on managing my time well which brings me to my next habit of using a calendar feature in your computer or on your phone to time block so when you time block it makes it easier for you to stick to a schedule i recently started following this habit and i time block for the entire day starting from the time i wake up all the way to the time i go to bed when i used to work in an office setting it was automatically done for me but since i started staying at home i wasn't using my time very effectively and i had no set routine so now i have created these time blocks for all the tasks that i have to do during the coming week day on the previous sunday night i also keep 2 hours as my free time or entertainment time to unwind and relax during the day so if you haven't done this already please give it a try it is a really helpful tip to increase your productivity and cause less anxiety the next ritual that i have started following recently is practicing gratitude every single day after i shower in the morning i read a page of ramayan this is the holy hindu book which talks about the story of hindu god ram this is bringing a lot of peace and calmness in my mind i feel like if you express gratitude to your god or uh, to the universe it just makes your mind so calm and relaxed and it brings a lot of positivity in the house for the night i started writing everything that has happened during the day which i'm proud of or the things that went well even if something did not go well i still write it down to remind me how i could have done or dealt with something differently to achieve a different result i'm keeping this journal next to my bed It makes me feel good before I sleep. I have never done journaling before, so I'm kind of interested to see how this is going to turn out and what impact it is going to have on me as a person going forward. My next habit relates to cleaning and organizing. So this is the new mantra I'm following which is don't put it down, put it away. So if something takes less than a minute, I do it right away rather than just ignoring it and fussing later. Most of us when we look at the clutter we look at it and don't tend to it right away and then it bothers us later and then we think we never have the time to tend to it because we actually let it build up in the first place one of the examples of this habit is me checking my mailbox every day and taking care of the mail right that minute so after i get the mails from the mailbox i would see what needs to be stored or filed and what needs to be trashed or shredded so this way my pile of mail never builds up and i don't have a table or a kitchen counter full of mails that need to be sorted and taken care of later 
Remember, the idea here is to do things that takes less than a minute. Another thing that I've started doing recently is when I'm brushing, I try to wipe my counter space the, around the sink so that all the spills from the water or soap or my toothpaste is wiped off and my counter stays decently clean. Also, if I'm applying any type of makeup or my hairbrush, I try to put it back in its place like in a drawer so that it's not everywhere on the bathroom counter. This next one is interesting because I'm still not there yet, even though I want to. So this is to keep my phone away from me before I go to bed. I used to charge my phone next to my bedside table for easy access. But what it was doing was that it was tempting me to check my messages, which was not very healthy. So keeping my phone away from me will have an added benefit because in the morning when my alarm rings, I'll have to walk to turn it off instead of just hitting the snooze button right next to my bed. I know phone is very important in our day to day life and there's no denying to it. But before we go to bed, if we can minimize that blue light, it is going to help us sleep better. And once we have the required eight hours of sleep, we will be feeling much more relaxed, happy and less groggy in the morning. A good night's sleep is important for our overall health. So now this is my aim to keep my phone away from me so that I can get the seven, eight hours of rest every night that I absolutely need. My last habit that I started following this year is to change out of my lounge or comfort wear and wear something that I can go outside in. I work from home and I love wearing pajamas and loose clothing all day because they're comfortable, right? But my daughter, whenever she sees me, she's like, mom, why are you always in relaxed clothes? You should wear something that makes you look put together, apply a little bit of makeup, wear clothes that are presentable, right? So now this is something that I'm following each day. Even if I'm working from home, I shower and wear clothes that are presentable. I apply a little bit of makeup, which makes me feel good. And it also gives signal to my brain that I'm in now my work mode and I'm ready for the day. So guys, these are all my new habits that I started following. And these are all part of my new year goals and resolutions. I would be interested to know if you can also resonate with some of them and what are your goals and resolutions for this year. You're welcome to share those in the comments below. This is it for today and I'll see you in my next video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I like when you like my videos. Take care and have a great day. Bye.